Hi neighbors, it is I, Jerry Ellen. Welcome back to Cooking with Neighbors. Today, I am doing a copycat recipe, kind of, sort of. Uh, anyway, I'm doing this collaboration with a couple of channels, and they are Coffee with Stephanie. I'll leave the link below, she's a lovely lady. And of course, you all know my friend Linda from upstate New York, I create with Linda, and her link will be below as well. And my cousin, Melanie, Mel, uh, at Two Cousins Cooking. Uh, so today I am making the Samurai Burger from McDonald's in Japan, quarter pounder. So I'm going to do a little bit of a take on it. And anywho, let's get this party started. I got a scale here because I want to weigh out like a quarter of a pound. But the burger in Japan, the and type of mayonnaise, a lemony mayonnaise on their burger. But uh, I wanted to do like a Big Mac sauce because that's what that's what uh, hubby likes. So I'm making a Big Mac sauce instead of the, the lemony mayonnaise. It'd be Big Mac sauce. So I'll show you how to make that Big Mac sauce now while those burgers are frying. There's many different versions of the Big Mac sauce, so, but anyway, this is uh, one that I do. Yes. And they always like this here sauce, so. Half a cup of mayonnaise, okay. Okay. And this is half a teaspoon of garlic powder, half a teaspoon of onion powder, and a quarter of a teaspoon of paprika. You can use smoked paprika if you want. This is, I strained two tablespoons of sweet uh, hamburger relish. Um, if you're chopping your own pickles, uh, put a pinch of sugar in this, but because there's, uh, these are already sweet, uh, you don't need to add sugar. Okay. Now, I like to put in for color two, is I put in a teaspoon of, or a half a teaspoon of ketchup to a teaspoon of ketchup. This is a half teaspoon. Okay. I put a half teaspoon of mustard. And half a tablespoon of vinegar. and put some pepper in it as well. Okay, I'm gonna put clean wrap over that and throw it in the fridge, let the flavors marry together. Now we make the best teriyaki sauce in my opinion. All right, now on to making a quick teriyaki sauce and I'll tell you what's in that. Turn this on. This, this is very quick sauce. I am going to add some sake. This is just cooking sake, nothing expensive for this. Okay. And about 250 mils, like uh, a good cup of sake. 120, 225 mils of uh, low uh, or, or light soy sauce. Okay, so like a half a cup of light soy sauce. Mirin. I'm also going to add some mirin to this. Uh, the same amount of mirin as soy sauce. There we go. Put a teaspoon of minced ginger and a teaspoon and a half of minced garlic. Got to taste. A little whiskey, whiskey. Mm 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 mm. This smells so good. And this is two good tablespoons of brown sugar. Okay. I'm only gonna cook this until uh, the uh, brown sugar is dissolved, basically. If you want a thick teriyaki sauce, you can do a cornstarch slurry. Uh, this is going, after we cook the burgers, the burgers are gonna sit in this. Ugh. Yeah, it's going to be so good. I know that 
earlier on, months ago, six months ago, whatever, I made a Hawaiian burger that used teriyaki sauce, teriyaki sauce, but this is uh, a bit different. Oh, and there's a friend of mine. I'm gonna link him, link the, link them below. Uh, that actually ate uh, one of these samurai burgers. Big belly. So I want to do that for two of them, right? Big Mac sauce on there. This is what it looks like in the kitchen. Then it has a slice of cheese. Burger. Okay. Then it has some onion. I'm gonna build two of them, but I'm waiting to build the other one. It has some onion. Tomato and that on the next one. Like, look. Something good. Big Mac sauce, teriyaki sauce, the ultimate burger, ultimate burger. Like, share, subscribe. This is my friends. Mm. You won't be disappointed if you try this. Peace, love.